Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, thank you for doing that. Thank you for your love and your support. It's a get house of me. No? Thank you all for the support. We are now 4,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, woman abroad. And so today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to cut um, this dress. These days, you'll be seeing more videos on how to cut a buyer dress for kids, for her dog top. Going to be seeing a lot of cutting on how to make dress, so I want you guys to support me. Now, the material that we need for this, we're going to need a paper draft for our beginners. If you are beginners, a paper draft will be okay for you. If you are beginners, and um, we need our fabric of a choice. You can use the African print, you can use the material, you can just use anything that fits you, anything that you want to do, or it depends on what your client for you and the next thing now is our tape rule our chalk for marking our scissors our sewing machine so if i'm too fast and so let me just start to the cutting of the this and this tutorial is for beginners if you're beginners on how to cut a long a shape gown this video is for you and so i'll be doing the neck part this is my neck part and I like when i want to wear a neck part i like doing it three by three and a half inches and if you want it to be wide you can make it three by four inches sorry darling sorry for the um, noise that you can be hearing in the background just ignore that noise and focus on my voice and focus on what we are doing right now and so for the shoulder paint and you know, i'll be using three and a half in three and a half just depending on how wide it is i'll be using three and a half and just look at it and um the next thing we'll be doing right now can you see the um the pair on draft paper i folded into two before um before i try to draft on it i folded it into two and so that is eight inches for the hammer side or the down is going to be eight inches it just depends on just i'll be showing you the next video i think i'll be showing how to take a measurement on yourself and how to take a measurement on your clients that is so important so this is it i think i marked three and a half inches for the shoulder part and uh, for the boss when you want to divide the boss make sure you, you divide your boss if you're having like 38 that's going to give you 38 divided by four do you understand this divided by four so just look at what we are doing right now so this is the the next thing i'll be showing you right now is the um, half length I'm showing you the half length and I'm marking 8 inches there. And that inches, that inches I'm ha marking first now is the hammer side. So I'm going to cross that part just like that. I'm going to give it a shape. This part is very, very important. You know that sometimes you're going to wear clothes that is going to be tight. So you have to be very careful in this part. So your clothes will not be so tight. So just see the way I cuff that part. Can you see? Can you see? And the next thing we'll be doing right now, I've already show us in this tutorial. I divided the this. I have a pattern paper, then I I fold it into two because this video is for beginners, so it's going to be easy for you. And and let's go to the half length of the body that we're going to wear from the let me say from the on uh, from the ammo side to your waist side. That way the shape is going to come out. Just curve that shape out. There's some instrument that you can use for that part. We'll be showing that part in our next tutorial. And that is just look at what we'll be doing now. We're going to shape that part out. Just like that. See the way I shape it out. Just like that. Can you see? You have to, this video. I think this video is a little bit long. And I'm not, I don't, I'm not the time that I love talking that much. And I'll try to talk even if it's up to 15 minutes. I'll try to talk on this video so for a better explanation. And so this is it. Can you see what we're marking? This is it. Our full length is going to be 38. Can you see? Just depend on how you want to. But in this dress, I use I think I use 56 inches. I want it to be so long, it just depends on how you want it. How you want it just depend on how you want it. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be dividing my bust into two. We're dividing the bust into two. Just take a look at this. I'll be dividing into two. I'm going to be having just look at it. I'm going to be having 38 inches and divided by into two. That's I think it's going to give us nine nine 
is that sorry divided by four sorry and that is it i'm going to mark this now very divided the boss into four so i'm going to shape this out make sure you shape it out on that paper before you start that is the bust part and just take a look the bust and the other bust just mark it can you see it's so easy just curve that shape down can you see so you can join another paper so for you to get the full length you can also join paper but just that's how you're going to slant down to so make sure the down whole part of your dress is a little bit full so the shape is going to come out and we're going to be cutting this out just like this we cut this out we cut the neck part so we cut it out if you have any question on this tutorial kindly ask me i'm ready to answer any question on this tutorial and just take a look at this and this is the the body part like i said earlier if you're a beginner just add more paper to it so you can cut it a full shape can you see this paper is not it is not that long so just from the way i shape it just shape it can you see it? i have i give it a shape can you see from the let's say from your waist part from your waist part to your hip part you're going to give it a shape just like the way i give it a shape then you're going to shape it down you're going to shape it down you're going to be down so the down is going to be full just like if you can just make it a full flare or you can make it a straight gown just depend on but make sure the down is a little bit wide you know you know we're, we're not going to have zip at the back so the down must be a little bit wide and so this is my fabric and then i'll be placing this down and the next thing we'll be doing right now i'll be taking the paper on it i'm going to shape that part out can you see what we are doing just take what we are doing make sure you iron your fabric and that is very important you have to iron your clothes with your iron that is so important to make your work so neat you can sew and you can start ironing it and when you are done you can iron it just depend on how you want it so this is it this is it just see what we are doing so easy it's so 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 easy so let's cut on the front part first just see what we are doing cut the front part first we're going to be cutting out the front part first and you're going to be placing your draft paper on it your draft paper is meant for people that are doing it for beginners and if you you can just see can you see we're cutting this out or we're cutting this out just see what we are doing If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment on my videos. We have a lot of videos on dress making, to band, fascinator, a lot of tutorials here. So just look at it. My Facebook account is on Queen Pretty and for my group page is Ask of Mina. So you're going to be cutting this out. And for those of you that used to have, did I, did I used to make turbans? fascinator and dread that I used to make it for sales yes i delivered just if you want to order anything i'm going to be placing my number there my number my whatsapp number will be there for you to order from where you are so i'm going to be marking that part i'm going to be tracing this on them we're going to be leaving like one hinges just see what we are doing it's so so easy to do just see what we are doing can you see just see what we are doing so just pin that down just do it and pin it down, down.
So use your scissors to cut this part out. <coughs> Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to place it where so you can see what I'm doing. <coughs> Sorry for that. So I'm going to be using my scissors to can you see? Can you see what we are doing? You have to leave some inches for sewing allowance. I love I love leaving like two inches for sewing allowance so just see what we're doing now we'll be cutting that part out can you see can you see? like i said earlier that you can join the paper this is the down part just slant it down can you see down just slant it down just like that that, that is the down part of the gown the full length i use i use a 56 if you want it to be full to to be more fuller you can use 16 inches just depend on you so can you see i'm going to cut that part out i think uh, with this tutorial i think you'll be able to do a shape gown for yourself a little i use can you see sorry for that i thought i used 56 because i did i use 60 inches so you can't get to cut this out you cut it up and um, because now this sleeve you can make it long you can make it short you can make it three quarter just depend on how you want it i have already folded this into four because now the two pieces out 
sorry i'm only, i have a little bit and they can what would i put it on i'm very tired in this tutorial but so this is it look at it we're cutting this out we're leaving some inches like two inches to do the hemming at the down part so this is it so i'm going to be marking that part out I'm going to be having 15 inches was just a short and let's see what we are doing I want to make sure that place is set don't forget that the hammer part is 8 inches just so you just slant that part out and cut it out You cut that part out. So I already cut the two together. You see. Join the body of the clothes down 
things were joined it down from the uh, harmon part to the down part the next one the same to the path down and the down of your clothes you're going to be folding two inches and for the neck part you're going to be folding like one inches at the neck part so this is the handle part and i'll be joining the hand together with the body of the dress look at it i'll be joining it the journey parts will be facing the journey part just see what we'll be doing right now can you see just place that on that face that is going to face that and you're going to sew it just like that i'll be showing another system on how to join sleeves to, to the get of the body of the a-shaped dress just see it just join that together don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to share my videos with your friends and family it will get as of me now so this is the neck part i'm going to be aiming the neck part you can use the bias on it can you see what we say? Wow, this is look at it. Um, the next thing we do, this is the flower. Just use your hot glue to do that part. Place the hot glue on it to do that part. You can use any of your choice. I'm trying to see. I'm going to use the white one or the orange one, but I think the white one will be better than the white one. So, darlings, We'll be seeing you next time on my next video on how to make. I'll be showing another video on how to make a dress. I'm going to be showing another dress. We're going to have a lot of videos on how to make a dress. So in that part, make sure you iron your fabric. This is so important. I later iron my fabric. I iron it to bring out the shape out. Can you see that is the down part? Can you see you're going to the down part? I fold it into two, then I sew it on my sewing machine. Bye.